Running is essential for me. Whether it's at the beginning of the day or the end of the day or, or after lunch, it's just the time where I become centered and I can um, think through the day or whatever's on my mind at the time. I am primarily a mom and I work part-time for a large animal vet um, specializing in cattle. I help with the books and I help farmers get their vaccines. I enjoy it. It's fun to, to talk with the farmers and to kind of know what's going on. I grew up on a small cattle farm. Um, we had about 150 cows and um, was real involved in FFA and you know as part of a small ag community so it's always been um, you know a big part of my life. I would call us a pretty active family as far as um, you know, both my husband and I exercise regularly and um, have, have kind of made it a point for our kids to see that as just part of our daily life. Our oldest, Addison, is nine. She'll be in fourth grade this year. We started her in gymnastics when she was three. She just fell in love with it. And so she competes and works out about 22 hours a week. You know, they, they compete all four events, vault, bars, beam, and floor, and they spend a lot of time working on skills on each event, but also they spend time conditioning. I don't know how her little body does it, you know, and she'll, she'll practice for four hours and she'll come home and she'll have dinner and then she will go do cartwheels in the living room. I'm like, haven't you had enough? <laughs> With my family, it just kind of comes down to making sure that my husband and I, and Addison especially, but also the other two get, get plenty of protein for the amount of work we're doing and uh, muscle repair and everything with our bodies. I feel much better having you know, hamburger or steak on the plate than opening up a protein bar. So I just kind of keeping that all in mind when I'm planning meals for the week or for the next couple of days, I really just try to get you know, beef as an essential part of our diet. It doesn't have to be some, you know, anything gourmet or a special cut or the most expensive cut. You know, 99% of the recipes I fix have the word like simple or fast or easy in it, and it's fine. I can just tell a difference when we're, when we're eating well and that we, when we feel good and we can keep up with our lifestyle. It's making good choices as far as incorporating beef into your diet. It doesn't have to be a prime rib or a beautifully prepared ribeye steak or filet mignon. It doesn't have to be those things. It can be ground beef. You can, you can cut up flank steak for fajitas. You can do a roast, which is wonderful because you put it in the morning and then it's done. Um, use your instincts and, and think about what has worked for you know people for years and years. We're just real people raising real food.